So you have an older home you're looking to insulate or re-insulate, but you're concerned about introducing moisture problems into the walls. Let's talk about it. We get a lot of questions when it comes to moisture and older homes. So I wanna to try to tackle a few of these questions today. One of the things we get is a lot of people believe because we have an older house, there's no insulation in the walls and that was done intentionally because the house needs to breathe. Well, it may have been designed and built that way because that was the mindset many, many years ago. So there were many homes built with nothing in the walls because people truly believed back then that the house needs to breathe. You cannot insulate the walls or it's gonna damage the house. We now know today and with today's modern building codes that the walls absolutely need to be insulated and you need to have a building envelope established. Basically, today's standards are to make the house as tight as possible and rely on your mechanicals, your HVAC system, to give the house any air changes or ventilation that the home needs. So is it possible that you have a home that was not insulated, specifically we're talking about the exterior walls, because at the time the thought was the house needs to breathe? Very possible, very likely. So if you find yourself in that situation, the good news for you is a product like Retrofoam is specifically made to re-insulate existing exterior walls on residential properties. So you're in luck. Now the other very common concern is if you introduce this foam into an older house that has nothing in the wall cavities, will this process introduce new moisture into the house and cause issues? The short answer is no. Now, unfortunately, there are a lot of conditions in any sort of home that if present could cause moisture issues. And of course you have to keep in mind that lifestyle will always play a role when it comes to humidity levels or any sort of uh, measurement for comfort inside of a home. So keep that in mind. But I do wanna expand a little bit more on why I say that it's not really a concern. With the retro foam specifically, when the foam is put inside the cavity, if there's nothing inside the cavity at all, for the installer it's a little bit more of an easy process because there's no obstructions such as existing insulation that you could get bound up on while you're trying to pump the foam inside the wall cavities. So that's one benefit right there. Another thing is it's easier to visually inspect the inside of the cavities for the install team if they need to look at anything Thing, or if they're trying to gauge size or volume of the cavities or anything like that, it's always going to be easier when those cavities are empty. There's a lot of benefits on the install side of it when those walls are completely empty. And lastly on that, typically speaking, unless there's any sort of pre-existing weird kind of condition, maybe a double vapor barrier or an already present moisture issue, like a leak or some sort of penetration, barring any sort of weird circumstances, there's really not enough moisture inside the product itself to cause major issues in the house or anything like that. The product should cure in 24 to 48 hours as standard. And after that, there should be no issues at all. This is again on an even playing field, no kind of extenuating circumstances. Now you should take this as a really good sign for you as a homeowner because you're doing the homework and asking the questions that you should. These are all very appropriate questions for you to ask. The truth is, like I said, installing something like retro foam inside of an older house that's completely empty should not cause any moisture issues at all, again, barring any weird circumstances. If you're worried about your home needing to breathe, as long as your house has an HVAC system that is also up to spec and gets inspected once in a while, gets tuned up as needed, your house should not be able to breathe. Rely on that HVAC that you're having inspected, that you're getting tuned up when you need to. Rely on that to do its job and let a product like foam insulation establish that building envelope, making that shell as tight as possible. So if you have an older home that you're looking to make more comfortable and energy efficient, go to our link below to our Find a Dealer page, where you can meet up with your local Retrofoam dealer and start taking back the control and comfort of your home today. This is the Professor Foam reminding you that building is a science.